a two-day introduction, an EW101 type course that assumes that the attendees do not know how to spell EW. Uh, and we start from the very uh, basics and we spend two days bringing them up to speed on some things. Uh, this is divided into uh, eight sub-sessions, uh, four of them a day. Each one of them are 90-minute sessions, which works pretty well. Uh, the, the first one is Introduction to Electronic Combat, and, and that covers the, the basic vocabulary and concepts and uh, approaches that are used in electronic weapon, uh, in electronic combat. Uh, then we have Modern Weapons and Sensors, the sensors being uh, primarily radars, uh, so we talk about those and what their capabilities are. As in always in these courses, we do cover radio propagation because if you're to really understand electronic warfare, you do need to understand radio propagation. And we're not talking about just memorizing some formulas. We're talking about really understanding what's going on. Then we talk about the vulnerability of radar modes. Now, the vulnerability of these, of course, is vulnerability to jamming and other countermeasures. Uh, then we talk about the vulnerability and susceptibility of weapon systems. The uh, weapon systems, of course, are, are missiles and guns and so on that are supported by, by uh, advanced sensors such as radars. And we talk about their vulnerabilities uh, and the way that uh, we can overcome them using what we gain from electronic warfare. Then we talk about the three areas of electronic warfare, electronic support, which is the listening part of EW, electronic attack, which is uh, doing something about it, uh, to jamming, chaff, flares, so on, to reduce the effectiveness of enemy weapons. And then there's electronic protection. And electronic protection does not protect a platform. It protects friendly sensors against enemy jamming. This is an example of one of the weapon systems that we'll talk about. This is a legacy one that goes way back to the Vietnam War. This is the SA-2 missile, which was a deadly uh, missile in its time, and it's still in use. We talk about that and some other weapon systems, including some uh, more modern weapon systems. An example of a sensor is the radar that was used to guide the SA-2, and in fact, it's still used uh, to guide the SA-2 uh, missile. And we talk about, we look at the picture and talk about uh, about how the various parts of the radar work. Uh, what, what antennas are on it, how the antennas move, what information is gathered from those antennas. One of the tools that's presented in this course and the, the people in the course are taught how to use it is an antenna and propagation calculator. This shows both sides of the rule. Uh, from this, they learn to make antenna performance calculations from the size of a radar antenna and uh, the frequency which is operating. We talk about three different types of radio propagation. Two of them are supported by this slide rule. There's free space attenuation, which is the way radars uh, propagate and other high frequency devices. Uh, then we also have two ray which is radio propagation uh, near the ground, very important for communication signals. Uh, the Fresnel zone is one of the calculations you have to make uh, when you're uh, doing the, uh, the two-ray attenuation. And then there's a, a, a dB scale. Very useful tool that they learn how to use all of the scales on, the, on this device. This is an example of one of the concepts that we cover. This is the radar resolution cell. Now, this is the area in which a radar cannot tell if there's one target or multiple targets. Very useful to us in various electronic warfare concepts. Use of decoys and various jammer techniques uh, that depend upon an understanding of this, uh, of this concept. This is an example of one of the jamming techniques that we describe functionally. Uh, shows This one is called range gate pull-off and it's a a technique that steals the, uh, the range tracking from the radar and it convinces the radar we're someplace else. And this is, this is the way that we explain it functionally. So that's what we cover in this course. We think it's an extremely valuable two-day introduction 
to electronic warfare.